Breaking news. After Tinubu's private meeting with Buhari, he comes out to say, the more the merrier, no shaking. She, Tinubu speaks on numbers of APC aspirants hopeful. Hello, my wonderful people. Yesterday, we brought you up to speed that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu, has taken a stand on um, the numbers of aspirants who are intending to become Nigerians' president and um, what is currently ongoing with the party. Well, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu is one of the presidential hopeful. And yesterday, we brought you up to speed that this gentleman told Buhari, he said, listen, guy, uh, I will not be humiliated. In case you're not aware, there is a shady clause in the APC presidential ticket, yes, where they put um, form 18 says the aspirants should, um, the aspirants should drop, they will willingly drop their presidential ambition. Some of the aspirants have said they are, they are negotiating or they are having talks with their legal personnel before filling that form. Others have said they will fill the form without including that form 18. So others are saying that there is a consensual agreement secretly being made, okay? So there's a lot going on. I mean, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's election, and um, you'll be surprised at some of the, you know, things, do's and don'ts and everything that will come out. Let's get all the details. Ashwajo Ahmed Bolatin of the Presidential Hopeful of the All Progressive Congress, APC, says, the growing number of people seeking the presidential ticket is good for democracy after he had the meeting, a private meeting with President Mohamed Buhari. The former Lagos state governor said this after meeting with President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday at the presidential villa in Abuja. Tinubu, who met with the president as, at his official residence, said the trend is the best in, is for the best interest of Nigeria, which give Nigerians the opportunity to pick the best candidate, and this should not be stopped. In fact, it should be encouraged. The more, the merrier. It gives us a position to say that we are about to choose and to make democracy what it really is. Everyone making a choice from the current number of those who have indicated interest. Tinubu, who met with President Mohamed Buhari as his official residence said the trend is actually the best for what the country needs today. The more the merrier, the, let them come, the more the challenge it becomes to you to think deeply and focus on the issue. Do I really want to serve and why do I want to serve? It's all about service, it's nothing else. Think wise, get committed to your thoughts to serve the nation and bring progress and prosperity to the lives of Nigerians. All will show and will be revealed when Nigerians stand to stand with who they believe can bring that change. It's good for the country, for so many of us to aspire to want to lead. This is, we are really doing the nation the best, but there is only one chair and one possibility. We will all do that, becoming the next president. Tinubu said the ruling party would remain intact and united after its presidential primaries, noting that President Muhammad Buhari has shown his support to be transparent in a democratic process. I just had meeting with the president. Don't worry. APC primaries will be one of the most smooth primaries in Nigerian history. It will be easy for us to pick candidates that will represent us accordingly. We have nothing to worry. We have nothing to fear. Nigerians are in good hands with APC as we walk towards bringing true justice to Nigeria. Don't be alarmed at the numbers of persons who are indicating interest to run for the presidency. It is part of what democracy entails. Well, my wonderful people, we brought you up to speed yesterday that the person of... Um, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu was in a closed door meeting and the meeting was really private. However, we got an insight into what the meeting was all about. You know, uh, one of the aides who claimed, who, 
you know, asked for anonymity, said uh, Shiwajo Medbola Tinubu went to reiterate to the president the help he offered him at the time most he needed it, 2015-2019. And he said this was to President Muhammad Buhari, I will not be humiliated. Remember the very first instance, January the 5th, Precisely, Buhari was one of the, um, uh, uh, Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu was one of the first persons who indicated interest to run for the presidency. And when and why he was feeding questions and, you know, talking, relating with journalists, one of the words he said was that he, this is his lifelong ambition to rule the country, to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and he will not give it up for anything, you know, in case you're not aware. There is a shady clause ongoing now with the APC um, whole thing. There is a very shady clause that is causing serious reaction. And many people are wondering, what do you mean by that? Well, in the forms, the 100 million Naira form that has been sold, one of the clauses says that you will willingly step down. Okay? And uh, everybody is supposed to, you know, put in their signature to that, saying that, um, yes, they willingly step down. Some of the aspirants on seeing that clause have gone on to, you know, have discussions with their legal personnel saying, what does this mean? I sign in this form. And they said, if you don't sign the form, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an agreement that you have not completed the form. And as such, you cannot take part in the very said election. And that clause is saying, you are saying, I have signed this form. And so I agree if, they, if I'm asked to step aside for someone else. Do you get what that is? Exactly. So, you know, so there is real issues all bordering around this tangent, you know. So elections are around the corner. We're going to be feeding you up to speed. You need to be aware. If you're not aware, you know, so, I mean, when you look at it, it is what it is. And the best time to make a real difference, you know, would have been many years ago. But the second best time is now. We are that road, that crossroad, that junction where we all need to, you know, stand up and begin to retrieve, okay, some of the fabric and the, that have been that have been destroyed by the very element of those who said they are in leadership and that they will give us good leadership. And to a large extent, for a long time now, they have distorted the the element of peace in the nation to mention but a few. So we can't stand back. Pretend, keep quiet, that these things are not happening. There is real concern, real reasons why Nigerians must begin to reevaluate, okay, our decisions. We have to reevaluate it. We have to re re realign with with the concept of what we what we say truth is, you know. So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.